Hi, this is George GI4SJQ. Welcome back to the shack. And this is a little project that I'm working on. It is a K3NG antenna rotator. I'm hoping in the near future to get a an azimuth and elevation rotator, the SUG5500 up, uh, with a set of X quad antennas for satellite work. And this will be the computer interface to it. So it consists of a number of different components. We have uh, over here a Teensy 3.2. We have the VK4 GHZ uh, Universal Rotator Controller Board, which came in a couple of days ago. Uh, I have a Nexteon 5 inch display. And finally, over here, I have a Neo 7M. A GPS unit. Uh, it's just hooked up on the bench. Got a USB cable over here going off to the computer. Uh, DC power to, to power the equipment uh, from the shack power supply and I've just dropped in a, an on off switch. So the code the code is up here and this is the Rotator features.h file and it's pretty much stock except I have enabled the GPS feature. Uh, that's the only thing that I have enabled on it. So it's standard azimuth rotator configuration. So let's turn it on and see what happens. So it's powering up. Powers up. Now because the GPS hasn't synced yet, uh, we don't have accurate time and locator indication. But give that 15-20 seconds and that should appear. And <clears throat> any of the functions that I have enabled when I've been playing with this previously uh, have, uh, have all worked. But I have a problem with the elevation. Uh, you can see the green LED on the right is now flashing and my time and locator has appeared on the display. So let's make the changes in the code and push the, the code down to the teensy and see what happens. So... First thing we do is take enable the feature elevation control option and then come down to elevation and enable the potentiometer. Where is it there? And just to go down the bottom. Uh, you can see that I have also by default enabled the feature next day on display. So we'll go off and compile the code. And it's compiling the sketch. And I do get an, a message down there, but it doesn't stop it from compiling. And it's done compiling. So I'll go up here. You can see the Teensy uh, interface is opened. Press the button on the Teensy. It's programmed and I'm now good to reboot. So, turn off, let's zoom in here a bit, turn on, doesn't get the GSC data and I get the error message, doesn't go any further. If I go back and Leave the potentiometer 
the potentiometer setting defined but put the two forward slashes in to take out the feature elevation control recompile and then push the button to push the con the config down turn off turn on everything works so bit confused have I missed something in the code and does that error message mean something I'm not a programmer so a bit more head scratching uh, but we're, we're getting there if I can get over this hurdle then the next thing is to get the the G5500 hooked up to it make the cable up uh, get it hooked up and uh, get the uh, the whole thing tested and then make a box to put the uh, the controller into uh, one of the nice things I have to say uh, if I can zoom in here a wee bit you can see that I've got the GPS going straight onto the board there is a connector here to plug a GPS in but uh, very nicely uh, there is headers for DC uh, 5 volts and the GPS TX and RX data on the board so I just populated those uh, sets of holes with with headers uh, and plugged in the GPS and uh, as you can see it's uh, it's all picked up GPS working and just need to get the elevation going now and uh, will be on the home straight.